you're watching the Walking in Faith and Victory broadcast. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 7, that we walk by faith and not by sight. Mark eleven twenty four says, believe that you receive it, then you shall have it. God didn't say believe for manifestation. He said, believe that you receive. Believe that you receive. That, I, I'll tell you, this is, this is, uh, it's simple, but it's monumental. This is big. If you believe inside of you, you get that word in you, produce faith. It pro uh, Faith carries images uh, of, of God's purpose, his plan, of, of what he's, in some cases, he's already provided for. You know, you don't have to ask God uh, to heal you when he's already provided for it. You, the difference is believe that you receive it the moment you said it. Amen. Put the word in your mouth and your heart. That's what he's talking about. So, you, you know, you don't, uh, you, once you understand that God has provided salvation for every person in the world, and God didn't say we have to jump through all kinds of spiritual hoops and religious hoops <clears throat> to receive that. Amen. Excuse me. Hallelujah. Uh, you don't have to wait for that. If you're waiting for God and salvation that has already been provided for you, uh, you some people are going to die and go to hell because they're still waiting on God when God's already provided it. He said, just put the word in your mouth, put it in your heart. And if you do that, believe, believe that I raised Jesus from the dead and confess that, you'll be saved. That's easy. I mean to tell you, it ain't hard. Glory to God. And the moment we do that, we are in Christ. Hallelujah. I want you to look with me in James chapter, chapter 1, verse 25. Now, we know that this scripture is talking about uh, becoming a doer of the word, not just a hearer. But here in verse 25 says, but whosoever looks into the perfect law of liberty. What's that? The, the Word of God. The Word of God is full of principles and laws. Amen? Not in a religious sense, but it laws that work. Like, faith is a law. The Bible says that. Faith, the law of faith. There, there are things about uh, uh, God design faith inside of us. Uh, that's, that's really the nature of God that has been provided when we get in his word. It's principles, but it's a law, just like the law of gravity. Uh, what, you know, every time I do this, uh, you know, it's a law. It works. Gravity works. Thank God. Why? We want gravity because we don't want to be shot off in space. We want, us, we want to live here, and God wants us to live here. Amen. So that law uh, always works. Faith is a law that always works. Amen. If we we'll learn to work by faith. Paul said, I fought the good fight of faith. He knew how to, how to get from God or receive from God because of his faith. He, knew, he had a fighting faith. Amen. Now, if I put wings on this and empower it with thrust, uh, 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 is called the law of lift that supersedes the law of gravity. Amen. It's it's still a law. The law of lift always always works. Uh, you pr put a propeller, a jet motor that spins and, and grabs that air and forces uh, a certain uh, shape of wings. It it, it a push. You know, there'd be more pressure underneath that wing than on top, and it creates what we call lift. Amen. And that always supersedes gravity. Amen. You keep putting the force of uh, 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 power behind those, those wings, then it creates a law of lift, and it always works. You know, it, it amazes me. You can get on a commercial flight, and you got some, sometimes some big bodies. I mean, you got a lot of luggage. You got... A, a, a full capacity of people and weight and fuel in those jets. And it, I mean, they put thrust to it as long as it's got good motors. And, and uh, I'm telling you, that those things work every time. 
Amen. Every time I've gone on an airplane, I think, my Lord, there's a lot of weight around here. I'll, you know, dead weight. And they're not dead, but it's, we call it dead weight. Uh, there's a lot of weight in this plane. And I just saw them just pack suitcase after suitcase and luggage and everybody's got their own little bag they throw above them and and purses and everything else and and, and you think how's this plane going to get off the ground they they enact the law of lift and it always works thank god amen and it and so the same thing faith is a law and if you apply it right you'll receive from god every time it's a law and God wants you to operate in this law. He wants you to be successful in this law. He wants you to uh, realize your faith produces victory in your life. And faith, when, when it's done right, it is a currency that operates in a realm of the spirit. We're not talking about the natural realm because God is spirit, so we got to receive from him by the spirit. And so how do we do that? We release words from our heart, heart of faith, <clears throat> in this realm of the spirit where God dwells. And, 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 and when we do it right, we always receive. Just like the law of lift or law of gravity always works, we always receive. Hallelujah. Now, we don't have to ask God for something that already belongs for to, to us. God, 2,000 years ago, Peter wrote this, and he's quoting Isaiah 53. He said, by the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. Past tense. We were healed 2,000 years ago. Well, how's that? It's been provided for. Well, how come I'm not healed? Because you're looking for a manifestation before you operate in faith. Faith, faith sees it and operates in it. In fact, let's look at, let's, uh, uh, well, we didn't finish reading this scripture here in verse 25. It says, but whosoever looks into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, meaning you don't quit, right? He being not a forgetful hearer, that's where a lot of people have problems from point A to point C. I, some say point A, point B. In between there, they, they start looking at the natural realm, the impossible realm. They start talking like the children of Israel. We can't take it. Other than two people, Caleb and Joshua said, let's go take it now. God provided it. Let's go. <laughs> those were men of faith. They had a good report. But those of bad report, an evil report, took it to a whole nation, and they all believed it. We can't take it. It's impossible. But that's not what Jesus said, and that's not what God intended. God intended them for, uh, his plan was for them to go right across that river and take the land that he had already promised. Well, God's already promised healing. Learn to take it. He's already provided prosperity and increase go take it now there's some spiritual principles you need to do you can't be stingy and receive the blessings of god or empowerment to prosper from god i mean there's principles instructions behind every miracle is an instruction amen and and how we operate to those and receive those instructions uh by faith will determine the the greater reality of manifestation that will manifest in the natural realm amen i'm not talking about you just see it and you know be positive mental sent like some false religions are you know just have an image you know no i'm talking about an image of uh, by faith using the word believing in the lord jesus christ that he is going to provide then it will happen amen it says and he being not a forgetful here a forgetful meaning you got to keep the word in front of you that's what Joshua 1, 1 a said. Meditate on the word of God day and night. Don't forget what, you, what you've been looking at. Amen. But a doer of the work. This man shall be blessed in, in his deeds. Be a doer of the work. What's that mean? A doer of the word. Amen. Or the work of the word. You can work the word by faith. You can release your faith. Amen. <clears throat> By what you say. And, and don't be a forgetful hearer what you said. 
Amen. Uh, these, these things are important. Uh, a lot of times people wait for manifestation first in the natural realm before they believe that it manifested first in the heart. That's what we're trying to do. Get that word in you. Create an image in you. The things that you're, uh, that is your faith project or uh, your, the title deed of what you're, what you're believing for. Amen. And you stick with it. You stay with it. And believe that you receive it the minute you said it. That's, that's faith. That's faith talking the minute you said it. Amen. So <clears throat> uh, there again, some may pray, God bless me when God has already blessed them. And in Ephesians chapter one, verse three says, God who has blessed us with all spiritual blessing in Christ. So when were you blessed? When you receive Christ in your heart, a blessing was put in you and on you the minute you got born again. Amen. Who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Now, does that mean we, we're blessed with all the natural manifestations of in the natural realm? No. But we have all now in our spirit. And so now we need to learn to call things by faith. To stand for things that we called for and not quit by faith. Amen. Why? Because we're not going to allow that image to be robbed inside of us. That spiritual manifestation. We see it and we have a knowing that the minute we released our faith, we have what we pray for. Hallelujah. Amen. So uh, uh, I want you to look with me one more scripture and then we'll close here. <clears throat> Praise God. We're so glad you joined with us. And uh, I, I want you to turn with me to James, or excuse me, Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11. And, that, and we'll start with verse 1. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Well, like I said earlier, hope is a blueprint. Hope is a faith project. Something you hope for. That's, that lines up, first of all, with the Word of God and is uh, part of what God's plan is for your life. Amen? Now, faith is a substance. The word substance means a tangible spiritual force, a spiritual force. Now, faith is a spiritual force, a substance that you can do business with God in the realm of the Spirit to receive from God things hoped for, things hoped for. That meaning you may not see it in the realm of the natural, but you can hope for it by faith. It will be provided. Amen. Uh, the evidence of things not seen. So what he's saying is <clears throat> faith is the title deed. It is assurance of things hoped for. That's what faith is. Uh, something that you take hold of or claim. Amen. Um, you know, if I, I have I have a car or a truck, <clears throat> one of them I'm leasing, one I'm purchasing, and uh, the title deed is not in my name yet. Why? Because I haven't paid for it yet. Um, so, but once I purchase, I already purchase it. It's in my name, but I have to make a monthly payment or note on it, right? But if, if I say, this is my truck and I'm not making any more payments, well, you're going to have a repo truck within three or four months, and they're going to come and find that thing and put it on a tow truck and take it some yard somewhere until you make right with the payments. Or if you don't, it's called a repo on your credit report. Okay? Most, most people, you understand that. <clears throat> so it's not mine until I have the title deed. Well, faith says it's mine and it's mine now. That's why he says now faith, now faith. Well, when, is, when does it become yours? Now faith. The minute I got and built in my heart by the word of God, com com confirmed and bear witness by the Holy Spirit, See, the Holy Spirit will keep you right, keep you safe, make sure you're praying right. 
He'll, he'll, he'll show you the word that you need to pray at the right time. And, 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 and then you can lay claim on. Amen. So now faith is the substance, the spiritual tangible force that we do business with God, uh, uh, that we make this supernatural spiritual exchange for. Amen. The things that that is uh, a blueprint hope for a blueprint or things desired when we pray. Amen. Uh, it is evidence of things not seen. So I don't see it in the natural realm, but it's, there's an evidence based on the word of God and those images I put in my heart, in my spirit, the evidence of things not seen. I don't have to see it to believe it. See, believing is receiving. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't have to, I don't have to say God uh, you know, I'm believing for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It's already been provided for. All I have to do is believe I receive. Believe I receive. That's what believing is. I believe that I receive. It's the title deed. It's the evidence that I have a title to that car or truck. It belongs to me. Once it's paid for. Well, it's been paid for. Everything that belongs to us has been paid for. That's what, that's what we mean by redemption. Bought with a price. What price? The life of Jesus. Amen. So, <clears throat> you know, everything that God has, has provided for us uh, doesn't just manifest by accident. Well, God will take care of it. He knows what my needs are. No. That's why in the book of James it says, it says ask. And don't ask amiss. What does he mean by ask amiss? Meaning you didn't, add, you didn't add faith to it. You didn't believe you received the manifestation in your heart. It's got to manifest inside of you before it manifests on the outside. And you've got to stick with that image. Don't be a forgetful hearer of what? What you said, what the Bible says, and what you lined up your agreement on. Amen. Is this helping you? I pray it's helping you. Amen. And this is how my wife and, and I in this church, this is how we operate. This is how we believe. And, and this is how we receive. That's what I'm talking about, how to receive from God. Now, this is just a, <clears throat> a small portion of, of a great revelation, but this is where it starts. And this is what God meant when he said in Mark eleven twenty three, 23, believe that you receive it. As you, as you pray, believe that you receive it. Hallelujah. Well, I can't believe it yet. Well, then you don't got enough word in you. You ain't got enough word in your heart and in your mouth. Amen. But once you put that word in you, it creates an image, a, a supernatural image of things that you are believing for. And, and you can come to a place. I don't have to see it and believe. I believe the minute I release my faith by what I said, it's mine and that's it. Praise God. That's why. That's what he meant by now faith. It's a title deed. It's a. It's an assurance that and a knowing, divine knowing inside of me, in my spirit. That's what I mean. I believe I receive. Praise God. And you can do that for everything in your life, especially to the things that have already been provided for you. Praise the Lord. Well, thank you for joining with us today. Tune into the next broadcast. I want you to know we love you praying for you, believe God's best for you, and call you blessed. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.